All right, so let's take a look at some other um, synthetic tricks we can do. Um, one thing we can do is we can essentially kind of switch the director type. So we can transform an ortho para director into a meta director or vice versa, right? So we've already learned these reactions, but let's just go ahead and review them. So for example, if we had a nitro group that is a meta director because it is a, an electron withdrawing group. However, we can reduce this with some zinc and some HCl followed up with some base to make our amine, which is now an ortho para director, right? So um, we could use that, that that's, that's something that's very useful. Another example of this is if we have just toluene here, that's obviously an ortho para director because it's an electron donating group, weak, but still donating. Um, we could add some excess NDS to triple brominate it. And now it's a strong meta director, right? Um, we could take an alkyl group, which is also an ortho para director. And we could add some KMNO4, oxidize it. Into a carboxylic acid group. Which is a meta director, right? We can take one of these pi bonds and then move it up there, right? Moderate uh, meta or moderate deactivator and a meta directing group. Or we could do somewhat the opposite. We could take um, our acyl groups and we could reduce them down using our uh, mercury and zinc. Change that into an alkyl group, right? Originally we had a meta director, this acyl group, and then we have an ortho para director with this alkyl group. So let's see how that could be useful. So we have a benzene ring and in some number of steps, not necessarily two steps, we wanna end up so that we have an NH2 here and a Cl here. And so there's many ways we can envision this. We could envision adding the uh, amine last. But if we try to do that, we can think about this um, Chlorine is an ortho para director, so uh, that would not add meta to it. We could think about adding the chlorine last. So our amine would be here. But of course, our amine is an ortho para director because it's a strong donating group, so it wouldn't add meta to it. So another way we could envision is the last step actually being. Um, reducing a nitro group to an amine group, right? So we could think about, well, what if this amine was actually a nitro before? Right? And we can do that through zinc and HCl, the NaOH, right? Now they're meta to one another, right? And so this is our meta director. So we wanna add that first, which means that the chlorine was added in this previous step. Right, you can tell that this nitro group is going to place it in one of the meta positions. And then of course, to add our nitro group, we just add nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And again, the key to this is to just practice, practice, practice. You've got enough problems um, in this video. Um, and then of course, in your work alongs and problem sets as well.